I just wanted to address the problem of um, the people that wake up in the morning after the election. Yes. And they're in a bad mood. Some of them are crying. <laughs> and, you know, they're trying to console each other. I look at my wife's Facebook page and, I, you know, a lot of our friends are liberals. Yes. And they are consoling each other on there. I just wanted to say the reason, I mean, that that's, they don't realize that's the best thing that could have ever happen to yeah. them. Yeah. The way the way they feel right now. That's that you know, that's the cry for God right there. Yeah. But anyway, the, I think the reason they feel that way is because of the hate and anger that they carry for Donald Trump. Yes. And so it it um what has happened is that they have this conflict inside because the little spirit of uh, a little bit of the spirit of Donald Trump, which, you know, God's spirit, gets inside of them. And they have this conflict. And they'll do everything they can. You know, they'll go demonstrate. You know, that's just a distraction for that. They don't realize that they're going to have to live with that inside of them for the rest of their lives unless they resolve it somewhere. That's right. How... And, but, but one of the things that they do is just distract themselves. They go drinking, they go demonstrating, and they'll never, you know, in that way, they'll never see. They also are out there burning the flag, and they, I know. they are really carrying on. And what it is, they hate good. They love evil and hate good. And Donald Trump represents good. I read a report, or maybe heard this report, that uh -huh. some of these kids who are in colleges or universities around the country, they are so weak and pathetic that the schools are offering them dolls to come and hug. If you can't handle what the outcome, you can come and hug a dog or you don't have to take the final <laughs> exam or <laughs> you can come and lay on the pillow. These people are so weak and pathetic that I don't know how they're going to deal with the real world once they graduate from school. Yeah, and the other thing is that they're so stupid. They're blaming Donald Trump instead of blaming Hillary Clinton for for the loss. Yeah, that's what angry people do. They feel like victims and they blame others for the way that they feel. And uh, so I, it's just amazing to see that this has happened in our country because some of these people that are uh, acting this way at some point going to be in charge of running the country. And I, I just don't know what's going to happen to our country if we continue. But it also, Randy, it also shows a failing of their parents. Because That's had true. they had good, strong parents, they would not be so weak in life. <laughs>